Hello everyone, this is Ryan with Learning Works for Kids, and we're in a new world. Yes, this is a new world that I just spawned in. You can take a look behind me at all of the majestic beauty. Ah. And we're actually going to be doing something a little different. I know the other Ryan has a Let's Play survival uh, kind of game going on, uh, and I wanted to actually do a Let's Build server, or world uh, so, I'm gonna flip my camera around, get my HUD, that's heads up display up, that's my little arm, uh, and I'm gonna show you what my ideas are. So, I honestly didn't, when I first started this video, I had no idea what I was gonna build. I just knew I wanted to do a Let's, play, uh, let's Build video. And I spawned in right about, like, here. Uh, I think I, yeah, I spawned in, like, here. And I, I saw, I, I flew up. And I kind of saw this desert, and this nice desert line that goes right, right across this uh, little, like, field area. Uh, and then it's got, like, this little, um, like, there's a little sh plateau thing going on right there. Um, no, peninsula. It's called a peninsula. Uh, and then there's this, I think that's an island. Yeah, this is, this whole area right here is an island. There's a small island there. Uh, just the geographical structures look really cool, and I decided that I'm going to build a little town-like thing throughout the entirety of this. Maybe, uh, I've always been a fan of medieval structures, uh, I love it. Um, maybe we'll build a cat. ooh, we could build a, a castle on the island over there, ooh, castle, island castle. But yeah, I love medieval structures, uh... And I think it'd be really cool to build some of that in this area. But today, I think we're going to start out small. We're going to start out with a watchtower. So my idea behind this is that the village here is actually kind of like there's something in the desert that like, I don't know what it's going to be, like some kind of sand monsters or something along those lines. And the village has to defend themselves at, you know, like, certain seasons when the sand monsters... Oh, the world's not loading over here. But, yeah, sand monsters will, like, come out and try to attack the village and things like that. So I'm going to build this like, immense wall that goes along the right along the edge. It's going to be really cool, I think. Uh, but I figured this would be a great spot for a lookout tower because where else would you want to be watching the desert other than this nice little high spot? So let's uh, let's get down to business to defeat the Huns. I don't know if you're a Mulan fan, but if you are, good. Uh, but, <laughs> but we're gonna do a little terraforming right here. So uh, terraforming is really important, I think, for building things because you want to make the world look as natural as possible, but give yourself enough room for your build. So we're just gonna punch some sand furiously. Uh, da, da, da. Let's get rid of all the sand. I think this is a good amount of area for us to build our watchtower on. I don't want to make the 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 um, land too flat because otherwise it'll look a little unnatural and weird. Do do do. And I'm actually gonna pick up a block of sand just for the future. All right, now hmm, I don't really like this this little offshoot, so I'm actually gonna get rid of that. Get rid of that. Uh, hmm. I think if we chisel away here, put some sand blocks down, uh, leave that like that. See, this is the, the uh, terraforming is probably the toughest thing to do because you have to think, okay, what looks natural, but also what, you know, what fits the way I want my build to look. So you have to kind of, plan around that and uh, think of cool ideas for that. So, let's see. Hmm. Ah, uh, that's a little too jagged. Let's get rid of that and that. And let's put a block. Eh, let's put that back. I think that looks good. Uh, and then let's let's just cut away a little bit over here. And uh, just ch chisel off that corner right there. Make it a little less square and jagged. Uh put a few more blocks here. Sure. All right. Hmm. 
Uh, I think that looks a little bit too square for my liking. Actually, you know what? No. I'm going to leave this because there's going to be a staircase. And it's going to go right down this way and across that way. So that's what that flat wall is going to be. Uh, so let's let's set up some markers. Oh, we got an achievement taking inventory. All right. Uh, let's see. What materials do we want to use? So I didn't plan this out, which is my mistake. So my... Uh, how I build this is going to be a little impromptu. It's going to be a little, uh, not messy, but it'll be, it'll be, um, it won't be entirely planned out. So we'll see. I think I want to use some form of acacia on this because there's a ton of acacia trees. So it would make a lot of sense if the, like the villagers used the acacia wood to build their structures. So let's see how that looks. Um, actually, I like that. I like that. Um, so let's say the staircase will be like too wide, and it'll go down right down this wall. So we'll put those two pillars there to mark that. All right. And then let's make a little bit of a porch. So that's going to be one, two, three, four wide by four wide. So it's going to be uh, from acacia wood to acacia wood, it's going to be six blocks this way, four blocks this way, six blocks this way, four blocks that way, if you want to follow along. I don't think the, uh, let's, I don't think the planks that we use for this should be acacia, so I'm not even going to bother with that. Um, hmm, what looks better on the acacia? The oak, the spruce... Uh, the birch. The birch is a little too light. Uh, or the jungle. Hmm. Maybe a stone instead. I think maybe some kind of stone. Let's let's see how cobblestone looks against the acacia. I think that actually might look good. Yeah, I actually like that. The gray kind of works together. So we're going to go with that. So it'll be cobblestone and acacia wood for now. We'll work in some other materials. So let's make a little, it's kind of like a patio deck area. Uh, and let me grab out some fencing. Fence, let's see. I think out of all of them, I like the spruce fence the most next to it. So we'll just dig away there, dig away there. And let's put our cobblestone down. So this kind of gives a raised look to it. You see how it kind of looks a little raised up from the ground? Uh, that gives a nice little aesthetic touch. Ho ho. And I'm going to get rid of that for now. We'll work on the stairs later. But for now, we're going to focus on our decking. I mean, our... Uh, what are they called? And I'll, I'll bring this out one more so it's even. On our tower. So let's raise these up for support. And let's put a, a railing so people, when they come up the stairs, they don't just fall off uh, to their doom. <laughs> We're not going to have that happen. Oh, the sun is going down. Don't mind me. Zero. So that's a nice little cheat code if you want to... Well, it's not really a cheat code, but it's a way to make it so that you don't uh, need to wait out the night while you're building. We're going to condense the path down to just two, so we'll just take that those up, and I think that'll look nice. And, alright, now it's time to plan out our actual structure. So let's get rid of that for now, and this is going to be our flooring. So we're going to have two, I think it should be four wide. Uh, there is a chart online, uh, maybe I'll post it, how to make a perfect circle in Minecraft. And it shows you based on different sizes, but I generally know how to do it now, because I've been playing Minecraft forever. So it's, uh, actually no, I'm not going to do it that way. Nope. Do, do. That's going to make a tower a little bit too big for what I want. So we'll do, f we'll do two, so it'll go four this way, two this way, two this way, two that way, and then four again and then two, and then two this direction, then four, and this is actually going to be the outer wall, not the inner flooring. So, one, two, three, f 
four. I think that's, yeah, that's lined up. Ba -ba. So that's going to be our tower structure. That's what it's going to look like. Um, let's just come down here and just build up around that way. So it looks like this is, it just kind of digs into the ground a bit. A little more natural look that way. All right. Hmm. So our floor, our floor, I think, is going to be the dark oak. I mean, the yeah, that's dark oak, right? Yep, dark oak. So we'll have some dark oak planks as the trim to the flooring. Hmm. So with building, you have two options. You can either wing it like I'm doing right now, or you could plan things out. Now, planning is a big, important part of building in Minecraft, because it's all about the sizing of things and how you shape it uh, that can really throw things off. So, for example, if I accidentally put my floor here and did that, well, now that looks off and weird, and that's not what we want to build. So I'm just going to put that back. And see, now it looks a lot nicer and more symmetrical. And actually, I still messed it up. There we go. So that's what you want it to do. So that's why planning is really important when you're building in Minecraft, so that you don't have those kinds of issues. I think... Mm, is that too... I think the spruce looks good. The spruce with the dark oak planks will make a good floor. And if we want, we can uh, make a little pattern in the floor. Actually, you know what? While we're on the floor, I'm just going to do a little trick I like to do. Let's grab out our stairs. Okay. And basically, you take your stairs and you... Uh, that's not what I wanted. There we go. You wrap them around the entire edge. So I'm just going to cut out the edges, put down my stairs, and you can kind of see how this is going to look when I finish it up. So see how that kind of makes a nice little trim around the edge? The only downside I see is you dip down a little bit when you get to the edge, but oh well, the guards can deal with that issue. <laughs> I'm not a guard, come on. I'm just the builder. I'm just the architect. Don't blame me. Hey. 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 Good. No. <laughs> Stairs are so pesky to deal with. There we go. And let's, uh, let's just start like that. Do that and do that. There we go. So that's kind of a cool design to do the floor in. We could get really crazy, actually. Ready? Ready? I'm going to make this really weird. I like this. I like this idea. Actually, I might not, but let's let's try it. So we're going to do a full wraparound with the stairs. Full wraparound with the stairs in the middle. Mm, maybe the other way. So it'll go like that. Like that. Like that, like that. I guess I can't do that. All right, never mind. I will just put the dark oak planks. So that's our basic floor pattern. Um, I think that looks good. Maybe. Do I do I want to do it that way? So that the stairs don't get annoying. Eh, no, no. I'll, I'll leave it a full wrap around. I just don't like the fact that the stairs get. You know, you kind of dip down and jump back up. But, oh well, the guards can deal with that, as I said. So now, we need to start building up our walls. Hmm. So let's see, what material do we want our walls to be made out of? Uh, it should be some kind of stone, but I think we could have the acacia mixed in. Uh, so let's just get rid of our staircases for now, and that stuff to give some inventory space. Hmm. Now, do we want... I think picking materials is the hardest part in Minecraft. Because you have to think, okay, what looks good, but also is, you know, makes sense for the build. Like, mossy stone in a desert 
doesn't really make sense, so I'm not going to bother doing that. Crackstone, however, might. So I think I'm going to start out with the crackstone, and I'm just going to sprinkle it around here. Uh, we'll sprinkle two there, we'll put one there, maybe one there, maybe one there, one there, uh, one over there, one there, one there, one there, and we're good. So just a random assortment of the, the, the crack stone to give the idea that this building's a little, you know, broken down. You know, it's been here a while, it's been fighting the elements of the desert, uh, it's up in a really windy spot, that kind of idea. That's how I like to build. Yeah, that looks nice. I like that. And then with the cobble, it, it looks even better. So now, where is our acacia going to come in? Hmm. Now, we could put our acacia along like that, but I think that makes the building a little too square. So I think, realistically... Oh, maybe we could put it there? Hmm. Hmm. Essentially, the acacia is going to look like supports on this tower. So I think I'm going to put it here and here on all four edges, or sides, if you will. It's just to give, just to break up the monotony a little bit, make it look a little bit more interesting, a little more dynamic, uh, have a little more depth to it. And then we can put cool patterns in the middle of it, too. And I'll show you what I mean when we get to that part. So let's just bring them all to the same height. So I think that's the height that we want for now. This is going to be a rather tall tower just because of the width of it. Doo -doo. Okay, so that's generally what the idea is going to look like. I'm going to scatter some more. Oh, the cracked, the cracked stone up in here. Uh, oh, actually, that needs to be the entrance. So no cracked stone there. Uh, let's build up like that. Maybe one on top of that. Maybe two there, one there, one there, uh, one over there. Trying to make the crack stone kind of close to each other so that it looks like the cracks went up one area instead of just randomly thrown about. I mean, it was randomly thrown about, but oh well. Okay, so let's put another layer of the stone on. The regular stone. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Okay, and I think that's enough of the cracked stone, so we can just start building up with the regular stone now. Ooh. Tap, 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 tap. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, the sounds of Minecraft. See, usually when I do tedious tasks like this, I usually uh, listen to music, but for your ears, I won't play my music. Uh, uh, Alright, so it's got to be a double door. And it's just going to be too high, so we can kind of just cut across and leave it like that. I think that looks good. Uh, actually, you know what? Stair. Staircase. Boop, boop. Alright, that's what I want. That's what I want. So let's find out what kind of door we want. Uh, the spruce door looks kind of dungeony. The acacia looks... Mm-hmm. What looks more like the door we want is the question. I think the, honestly, the uh, spruce door kind of looks the best part. Either that or the dark oak. Dark oak looks a little too businessy. It looks, this looks more like an office door. Oh, hold on. The uh, sun is going down. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with the spruce door. I didn't want to, but it's the only door that doesn't look like that kind of fits the theme, I guess. Alright, so that's that. Let's throw those on top. Okay, so how high are we going right now? We have one, whoa, one, two, three, four. And let's make it go up six high before we do something fancy. Uh, the relaxing sounds of Minecraft. Ticking away. Tick, 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 tick. I like the fact that there are sounds for when you, uh, when you put down blocks. I don't know why. It's just soothing. Uh, also, uh, something I want to point out. 
these sheep, they are in the lands that the village will go. However, I have made a rule in my life in Minecraft, a few years ago actually, that I will never, ever kill a sheep, ever, in Minecraft, unless necessary. So these sheep are sanctioned by Learning Works for Kids right now. They are not allowed to be slaughtered. Uh, they will be put in a pen somewhere safe, or they'll be allowed to roam the village as freely as they want, but they will not be murdered. Just a, a forewarning. <laughs> Alright, so now that we have that six high, I think I want to bring it in a block or two. So we're going to have it come in like this. Just to make the tower a little bit smaller and not as, you know, it's a little too fat at the bottom, I think, for the entire height of the tower. All right, and then we're going to bring our acacia wood right up to where we had it before. It'll just go right there, and we'll come back and get, there's, you know, there's some rough edges on this, but for now we're just trying to get the general structure of it. Do I want to go in one more, is the question. Hmm. Hmm. I think I do, because I want the top of the tower to be relatively small. So we're actually going to pull it in one more. And just go around like this. So it's a little bit square, so I'm actually going to chisel out that, that part right there, and I think I'm going to plop that block in there instead. So it's not as square as we're going up. I still want it to stay circular, just so it fits what we're doing. There we go, that, that works. I like that. So we'll build up the walls. Okay, now let's grab our acacia. And how are we going to do this? I think it's just going to clip along the corners here. Yeah, I think that works. I think that works. Oh, wrong block. Sorry. Little mistakes, little mistakes. Clip, 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 plop. Clip, 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 clip. And I, um... With these corners, I think I know what I want to do with these corners. Uh, I, it's very barren and bare, and it's very square. So I, I, I have an idea for it. Uh, I'll make it look cool in the future sometime. So for now, I think we're just going to build up our tower, uh, make it really tall. And uh, after that, we'll... Yeah, I'm just going to build up the tower to the height I want it to be. And then I'll, I'll be right back. All right? See you then. All right, and we're back. So, I built up the tower a little bit more. Uh, you can see it's a little taller now. Didn't make it too, too high, because I don't want this to be like this ridiculous eyesore. Because if we come down here, down to village level, this is what the villagers are going to see. Uh, we, I don't want them to see this ugly eyesore in the sky. They want to feel protected by this thing. Uh, you know, they want this to be like their, their saving grace. So I'm actually going to go back up there, Whoop. and there needs to be a bit more detail, maybe a little more color on here. It's very gray, uh, so we'll I'll work that out eventually. But in terms of how I want to make this tower, so I think for a floor, this is actually going to be the rooftop. So yeah, we'll we'll go with the same kind of floor except without the staircase pattern. And let's get our spruce. All right, so that'll be our floor. And instead of making, I realized that if I made like a, a tower, like a, 
the top of the tower come out and then build up, it would look too fat for the top of this tower. This tower would have to be a little bit taller to make that kind of shape look work. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to come out here and just build up a little perimeter of these little little chunks right here. All right. Bear with me. All right. And then we're going to put these little things. Uh, they're called crenellations. Uh, now, what that what those are is they're like... You know, on certain kinds of castles, there's like little stones that come up from the top. And they uh, they kind of make the castle look a little bit... The tower make feel a little more protected. It's actually so that... Uh, uh, what are they called? It's archers can actually hide behind them. And then come out of a corner and shoot. And then hide behind them. Come out of a corner and shoot. So it's uh, it's both decorative and protective. So let's get out our stairs again. Uh, I'm talking the brick stairs this time. And I want to cap these. These uh, acacia wood slabs. Or acacia wood chunks. I think I want to cap them this way. Yeah. We'll cap them in towards the center. Tink. Tink. And two more. It's turning dark again. Okay. So now, just for a little more decoration, I'm going to come down here and, hmm, how do I want to do this? I think I'll put stair there, stair there. Mm hmm. This won't turn into a corner block, unfortunately. Unless I put one there, and then it goes right back. Hmm. I want this to be perfectly angled. Oh, I know what I want. Alright, wall. Let's grab a cobble wall. There we go. We'll put two down. Two down on each corner. So, two down. Stair. Oh, stair. 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 Two walls. Stair. Stair. And two walls. And then we'll just put the stone stairs underneath like that, just to give the structure a little more support. And alright, I think uh, that's coming along nicely for now. There's a few details I want to touch up. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Actually, one of those details I'm going to do right now. I'm just going to fix it right now because I don't like it. I think if I go two there, two there, what I don't like here is that the acacia wood looks kind of, it looks like it makes the building too square, and I kind of want it to form fit with the building as it stretches up like that. So I think I'm going to have that go like that, and then come out like that. Uh... Definitely keep that there. Keep the stair like that. And then put stone stair there. Stone stair there. Stair. Stair. Yeah, that looks so much nicer. Uh, that looks so much nicer. So off camera, I'm gonna I'm gonna make that work. I'm gonna make that look pretty. Uh, I think maybe I might even get rid of this acacia wood chunk right here. I don't really like that. Uh, but until next time, I think that's enough building for today. Uh, but until next time, please share your likes with that big thumbs up button. Also, remember to subscribe to our channel. And remember, keep on learning.